right, good morning. My name is Brittany Smith. I am your librarian, one of your librarians here on the Kingwood campus. Uh, so I am going to just really quickly go through with you today how to access the databases that you have online. So first thing first, you're just gonna go to lonestar.edu. And once you hit this page, I'll just press enter real quick. Once you get to this page here at the very top, you're gonna see where it says libraries. So when you click on that, it's gonna take you to all of the Lone Star Library database or catalog or library list. Um, so right here, if you can see it says library catalog, you can start there if you're trying to find any books or if you wanna find any eBooks as well, all of that can be searched through there. The other thing that we can do is go to research databases. So two things. I'm going to show you first research databases, and then I'm going to show you how to use just this search bar right here. So when you click on research databases, we have all of them listed by subject for you. And say, for example, you are in an English class. If you scroll down here, right here to literature and click on that, we have all of your literature databases that you would probably want to look through. Um, really good ones here for literary criticism or just for general searching. Um, it's going to be through here, JSTOR, Project News, Academic Search Complete. Um, all of these are going to have journal articles, possible ebooks, uh, peer reviewed journals, all kinds of things for you to search through. And then right underneath it, we have reference and overviews. So Bloom's Literature, we have Gale Literature resource books. Here are our eBooks. We have hundreds of thousands of eBooks for you to access. Um, so that will come in handy for if you're ever doing any research style things. So I'm gonna show you, let's just go to one that we like to use, Academic Search Complete. So when you click on any of them, they're gonna pop up. They're going to look like this. And let's say, for example, you are in an English class and you are reading, I know one of our classes does, um, let's just do 1984 George Orwell. So 1984, just to show you what it's going to look like, George Orwell. We're going to hit search. So you're going to have all of these articles are going to pop up. The first thing that you're going to want to do is, of course, read the title, see if it has anything to do with what you're searching for. Um, just to show, I'm going to click on that title. And before you read through the entire article, read the abstract. The abstract is maybe five to six sentences. It shows you everything that is within that article. So that way you do not have to read through five to 16 to 30 pages of an article just to find out it is not for you. The other thing that you want to look at is different keywords that you can use to search. So say, for example, you are researching 1984 George Orwell. You can search also religion and dystopia and power with 1984 George Orwell and see what comes up. So to access this article, on the side right here, we're going to click on PDF full text. And what this is going to do is, of course, it's going to pop up the article for you. Now, one of two things you can either download if you're using your personal computer, download this article to your computer so that you never lose it. The other thing that you can do is on the side right here, we can email it to ourselves. So you're just going to put right here email to and then put your email, your Lone Star email, your Gmail, whatever it is that you want to use. And then over here, you can put your citation format. So if you are in English and you're doing APA, maybe MLA, you can put MLA and hit send, and it will also send you the citation for this article. Okay, so to get back to the results, you can click on results list right over here and it will take you back to your options. On the side over here, you can put publication date. So if I wanted, instead of 1959, I wanted 2000 to 2023, I'll just type that in and click somewhere over here and it'll automatically update it for you. 
So most of our databases are going to be like this. If you go and you close, if you decide to go through databases by subject right over here, all of the databases essentially work the same. So no matter what you see on EBSCO over here, the JSTOR Academic Search Complete, they're all going to be in the same or function the same. So let's go back really quick and I'm going to show you one last thing and that's going to be this search bar. So when you click on libraries, it takes you to this page. You can go to this search bar and let's do again, 1984 George Orwell. And I'm just going to hit enter and search through everything. So what this does is this pulls all of the databases that we have together and you are searching through every single one of them. So if you do not want to search individual databases by subject, you can just search all of them at once and that is okay. So the first thing that's going to pop up is just a little research starter that you can click on. It gives you kind of like the background or the ideas behind 1984 by George Orwell. And then as you go through, you'll see different articles. And what you're going to look for is this access now button. So whenever it says access options right here, for example, you're going to choose either the PDF full text or find a full text. Like this one says view full text from Bloom's literature. Um, let's go ahead and actually just click on one of these. So when you do this, just hit sign in. And if you are off campus, it's going to ask you to sign in with your My Lone Star username and password, just as you would sign into D2L. My computer's taking a little bit. But if you're here on campus, you just click sign in and it should automatically take you to wherever this article is located. Um, mine is being very slow at this point. I'm guessing it's because we just got back from holidays. Let me see. I'm going to close this out. Yeah, it's still thinking. But what would happen is you can click on any of these. What would end up happening is it would open up a new page to the database where you get this article from and you will be good to go and it'll look like the EBSCO database or it may look like some other database. But again, those same functions that I showed you as far as emailing, sending the citation to yourself, downloading it, it's all going to be the same. Now, if you have any questions, if you are here on campus, you're more than welcome to stop by the Learning Commons. We have reference librarians that are at the front desk or myself or Hope will be here to help you with any research questions you may have. Or if you have a hard time accessing the databases, you're more than welcome to come and visit us. Um, the other thing that I want to show you is on this library page that we have here. Let me refresh it, move my face. Right here, we have a chat with a librarian. This is going to be here at all times. We always have a librarian on the other side of this chat from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So if you are at home and you are not here on campus and you have a question on how to access anything or how to get to anything, please click this button and you can even ask them how to, you know, create different keywords for your research question on different things that you can try and find. Um, or if you're looking for a specific book, a textbook, a book that you use in class, please feel free to click on this um, and you should be good to go. Now, if you have any questions, again, please stop by the Learning Commons. Uh, we have tutoring here. We have technology support. We also, of course, have library and research support for you. But have a great semester and hopefully I'll see you around.